and on the Democratic Party and, and telling, teaching people to vote Biden. So I obviously disagree that, um, well, I don't know if it's obvious. I might even partially agree the Democratic Party is not, here's what I'll say. Uh, I was a Bernie Sanders person, right? Like I voted for Bernie in the primary. And I was excited to do so because I thought he spoke a higher level of truth. I thought Bernie saw the Matrix and called bullshit on it. And I like that. Joe Biden's not Bernie Sanders. I'm not pretending that he is. Um, he is a far superior, mature, uh, decent example for your children choice. And so this is not a, a Democratic, Republican, or right left-right thing. It's a right-wrong thing for me. And so I do think that there's caution in telling people, teach, vote Biden to the children. That's probably not the right way to go about it. Teach the differences, though, and what's at stake. And I think most people should conclude that there's only one right way to vote here. I don't understand a truly honest assessment of the situation we're in as a country, where you look at the current president and all his behavior, all of his behavior. We kidnapped children at the border and destroyed the paperwork so that they could never be reunited with their family. This from the pro-family Republican Party. I don't know how you can see that. I don't know how you can see the ugly retweeting, just the retweeting of conspiracy theories. Just this week, this president says, I don't read it. I just read, I just throw it out there. I just throw it out there. Raise your hand if you would ever teach that to your own child. We're past political parties. So I don't want a school system of any kind to ever teach Democratic Party is better. I don't think we're in that space right now. Democracy is better. Decency is better. And then let's have a robust argument about tax policies and affirmative action and immigration policy. But let's not pretend that we don't know the difference between right and wrong. No one who is honest with themselves would look at this president and want anyone they care about to behave like that. We are past that. We never should have gotten here in the first place. And we all know it. You know how exhausting it is? constantly defend the common sense thing? You know how much energy I just expended? And I'm not being personal with whoever raised the question. This is bigger than whoever raised the question. We are beyond reasonable. Pick any action, any statement, any appointment of an unqualified, sycophantic, corrupt and put it under Barack Obama. And what the, what would you say? What would you say if Malia Obama's out here selling her goods through whitehouse.gov? Are you kidding me? We know better. Come on, y'all. We have to snap ourselves out of this illusion that, whoa, these are just two different choices and I should just look at the list of policies on a website and just make a, an informed we don't even need our brains for this. Listen to your heart. What would your grandmother say to you? What would your basketball coach say to you?